this way, just so. Okay. We are live. <sighs> Close that. Tina, we got Renette. You ready, Renette? Pre rolls are disabled. Okay. There we go. We got ads. You guys want to see my cat? <gasps> Get her cat! Meow, meow, meow. I feel you purring. Holy cow. She's a little motor in her chest. Oh my god, it's too warm out. I can't hear me. Look at the butthole. What up, Dark Rifter? How are you? Yes, I run ads. Post it on Discord. Four out of seven. Okay, you're back? Alright. Don't worry, I wasn't doing anything that was high passions. But you can see my kidder. Look at her, she's so happy. She's super purry. So I do I do the ads at the start. I, I hit go live and then I immediately run ads because I'm not doing anything. And then it disables pre-rolls. It's a nice kitty, yeah. She's my favorite. Okay. On my... On my... What, what account is this? Oh, my mod account. I was gonna say my chat account, but on my mod account, um, it's still showing it. So I'll wait like two more seconds. You ready to discuss patch notes? What do you think, Dark Rift? Alright. Audio. Ooh. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, I should probably move that closer. That's probably why. Um, so I'm gonna do patch notes. You can see, so you can see on my screen right here, patch notes. This is super cool. So it's just a browser source, so I can like scroll on it with my main account. You okay? She's cleaning her face. Maybe she won't rub your face on everything. You wanted to clean it. Okay. So we are going to discuss. Whoa. So Horizon had patch 1.1 originally slated for March 31st. I'm scratching her ear real bad. And then um, that got delayed. So now we're at the actual patch notes. It got delayed two weeks. Um. Oh my God. Tina. She just put her tail on my drink. I don't have cat hair in my water. So, but that got delayed, so now it's actually finally live. Um, and they had a lot of patch notes, so they actually put them on the website, which makes it easier for me. I don't have to use screen captures and all that shit. And I can make it a little more interactive, so when I read something, I can highlight it to you. So I'm assuming... 
Tina. Don't put your tail on my hand. There you go. That's what she's gonna do. She's gonna get mad if I touch her tail. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna adjust this just a little. Make it slightly larger. So this way you guys can read it super easy. Then someone's gonna be like, Rain, I'm on my phone, I can't read it. And I'm like, shit. What am I gonna do about that? Okay. And then obviously at the top I have just patch notes. But so then I can scroll. And you guys can... This is super cool. I love, like... This used to not happen. I think it took OBS a while to do this. Um, it's been around for, like, feels like forever. <clears throat> notes of patches. Yeah, so this is the patch notes. So some of the promised changes we had with Horizon. Uh, so this is patch 1.1, so a lot of notes more than normal. They have the Horizon Adventure Rewards Program. This is related to, like, beta testers. I am not a beta tester. I should say, as far as I know, <laughs> I'm not a beta tester. So if that applies to so you, read this. Go get your rewards. My camera's slightly up. There. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So go go and get those. Um, the big ones are Ninja. So it talks about job balancing. Uh, so then it has like all these changes to Ninja. I played Ninja on retail. I literally have no idea about anything with Ninja in... Um, what you call on private servers or since like the 20 freaking years or 15 years that I've been playing. So I really can't comment anything here. Though what I've been hearing though is that all of the changes to Ninja are actually like a buff. Sorry, I'm scooting over so my cat has space. <laughs> so like they changed the two hour. Originally the two hour um, Majin or whatever. It was like a suicide, like a EXP free loss. Um, like a no EXP loss suicide. So a lot of times it wasn't used for anything and then they changed it for this for horizon to which it was still kind of garbage so now they changed it to make it better a lot of people said they want the cooldown of yonin to change so i believe they actually changed that just by 30 seconds which allows for easier refresh and then uh they did the elemental wheel so they actually update up updated um buffed i would say the um the damage based on like magic and then they have like a lot of other changes so, right, so warrior um so warrior has a slight change Increased shield block rate, so that's a buff to warrior, but it's only applied when warrior is the player's sub job. That's pretty much essentially a nerf to paladin. Um, white mage and red mage both got a buff. Uh, the spell of haste and refresh decreased by two seconds. This is the recast. And same with white mage, so that's good. Um, I, I saw, I read all these and I was like, yay, white mage buff, because I play a white mage, so it's, a, it's amazing. The, um... I'm gonna go to Paladin. No, no, we're gonna do, we might as well do Beastmaster. Everyone forever has been complaining about Beastmaster. I think I've maybe like touched on that a few times. Gosh, sorry, my hair. I've touched on that like a few times um, with these streams. That's a cat hair. Tina. She meows at me after I say her name. Cat hair. Bunch of haters, if you ask you. Yeah, so we've talked about beasts before. About people say it's overpowered. I've had stories where like beasts are perfectly fine with me. I don't play Beastmaster. I don't think I ever played it on retail either. So I have like no idea. But the job ability beast, bestial loyalty has been removed. Um, and then there's a lot of talk about monitoring the server, decision to remove. We do not believe it's a good fit for the balance. A lot of people are very, very mad because this is like a huge nerf to Beastmaster. So they had what they called like Beast Burns, where you, um, so Bestial Loyalty or whatever that BL was able to, um, it was a ability that allowed you to summon a pet, like a jug pet, risk-free, or not risk-free, isk-free, so it didn't consume the jug. So it's a huge nerf to like Beast um, in terms of like balancing, what would you call it, like tools and gear i'll say gear in quotes because it's like an ammo slot um, but then they also say we plan to engage in a rework of the beastmaster job in patch 1.2 as a crafter you're okay with this yeah so crafters is a buff to crafters um nerf to beast this one the return to their normal era states i don't know if this is a buffer nerf i actually have no idea i actually have no idea because I, I guess i haven't seen anyone use those so it could be both and then the charm fixes well, they'll, when uncharming to a certain degree, this should also prevent charmed monsters from despawning. That's also a nerf. Because what would happen is if a beast would lose its charm, charmed pet, and the pet would just disappear, but then there was no risk, right? So, okay, the pet becomes uncharmed, but it doesn't attack. But this is a huge Beastmaster nerf. And uh, most people are saying this has been desperately needed. I've seen some Beastmasters say, like, they're happy with it. Because it should be what it was. The only thing I'm confused about is, why did it take, like, 
four months for this to happen. I don't know why, but they did it. And a lot of people saying it's about time. Paladin, this is another Paladin nerf. It says the Paladin spell in light is no longer grants plus 10 enmity. So they had this super fancy spell and it allowed them to keep aggro and hate a bit longer. Um, a lot of people are upset about this, especially like in-game Paladin. In-game Paladin has to do a lot more work to maintain hate. When you're leveling Paladin, it's really easy. You have Warrior sub job, you press Provoke. A lot of people leveling Paladin didn't have in light either, so like most people weren't really affected. Dragoon. The following is just what's been made to Dragoon weapon skills. Um, TP multiplier. I think that's a buff. Weapon skill has been increased. Yeah, I think these. I think these are both buffs to Dragoon. There was another thing they did to Dragoon that I can call out, but this isn't. A, but because it's a nerf to Dragoon or and a lot of people don't really realize it but so these are the job changes the biggest one being Paladin and Beastmaster those are like the two biggest ones I was expecting a summoner nerf did not see that they mentioned self related to summoner later but Beastmaster which everyone's like desperate for and Paladin Paladin was pretty strong on the server so it doesn't really surprise me that they nerf it but also not I would say not into the world people are still going to use paladin like for everything quest apocalypse nine has been added um oh has been adjusted to reflect era difficulty i think a lot of people myself included have been saying some of the um the expansion progression has been like insanely easy like i'm doing chains of promethean a lot of it's insanely easy seven months how about that hey malketh how are you malketh i see you next week are you excited as fuck me too <laughs> um combat so a lot of these changes, so I think it was like Wasp Sting and Viper Bite. These have been desperately needed. I'm not sure why they waited till patch 1.1, but they did. So that's fair. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. Era plus camps. They said they have been added. I'm not going to go look. I don't really care. Mara point camps? Maybe. Maybe. I don't really care, though. Um, existing ESP camps reworked. Some camps, original retail, have been moved, redistributed, or just to give players additional leveling options all over the world at various level ranges. So this seems... Uh, as though they added more, right? So I was thinking initially nerf, like, right, people talk about Moongate being too much EXP, but I see this as just, like, an overall positive. So instead of, like, you either have more mobs, so you can have more parties in an area, or um, they made them better slash easier. More lizards on the dunes. Yeah, something like that is what I'm guessing they did, which I think is good. I could also, in theory, depending, I should say, depending, it could be bad, because if they're like, hey, here's all these extra mobs, but they link... Or aggro. Like, I could see that being bad. I'm excited for vacation next week. Heck yeah, I am. Malchus going to New Orleans, too. It's going to be a ton of fun. All right, so these are the really good changes. Sky. General Sky adjustments and Kirin. So these are desperately needed. I've been doing Sky for the past two weeks now. Two, three, maybe more, depending. Hey, Dark Rift, thank you for the Prime sub. It's a hype train. We have a hype train. I don't think I've ever had a hype train before. Let's go. You you will learn you will have a limited time to earn exclusive emotes. I don't think I can earn those, but you guys can. I don't know if you guys like hype train emotes. I don't think I affect those, but I think it's if you Oh, sub gift or use bits to get to the next level. Oh, it shows you the emotes. <gasps> There's this that looks like Squirtle. What the fuck? I've never seen these. Okay. I just cause I started streaming, y'all came in and subbed right away. So thank you for that, I guess. Rain, what up, Barry? Barry, how have you been, dude? Barry, I owe you I owe you a card. I've said that to you every time I see you, but I 100% owe you a card, and I will send that to you. Just don't move. Y'all, let's go, though. Thank you for the sub, dude. Um, So these sky... But these sky changes have been desperate. Desperately needed, and they're finally being added. So what they're doing is they're changing the respawn time on all of the, like, placeholder notorious monsters... So that way, no matter what time you log in, you can get them, right? So for example, if I got home at five o'clock and somebody had just killed like Faust, Faust would respawn at minimum in three hours or at maximum six hours. So like if I got home at five, I may not see that NM till like 11 at night. And it's like, that was one of those things that a lot of people, I think it was, who was it? Was it Critical? I think during the Mog House or yeah, the Mog House meeting, like Critical said like, hey, we know you, we know we're watching it. And I think they're now saying, yes, this is desperately needed. So I'm really excited about that. The only one I don't like is the diorites. So they drop at a rate of 1%. And then it spawns by, that's a force spawn. 
but it's one percent instead of like the I think it was three to six hours so I am guessing this is like a huge nerf and Uli was gonna be like insanely farmed and pricey now so that kind of sucks the other buff is the Kirin dropping the um, abjurations that's nice because like it's like you do all this effort you finally get to Kirin and then it doesn't drop any of your loot and it's like oh cool waste of my time they also have some Limbus updates um, this one's a buff to Limbus, um, but I think it just actually, when it is consumed, this means will empty Notorious Monster on Horizon. Okay. And then, following adjustments, Ben Proto Ultima. I think this is, I want to say buffs, but I actually don't know. This is, I think this is good though. I think this stuff has been needed. I don't do Limbus. I'm not there yet. Hey kids, Cincinnati, how are you? What does Glabby from Eve think about this? Glabby's just going to tell me Earth, like he always does. That's since... At least it's not like the old EQ spawns or some bosses will only spawn once a week. Yeah, so they've already changed that with, um, they're called H&Ms. So they're like land gods or whatever they're called. They would spawn like every three days and then they had a chance to spawn like within a 24, 72 hour window. Every like 72 hours or something crazy like that. So you had to be like home all the time to do that. Hey, anime overlord. Oh my gosh, you gave a thousand bits? That's like ten dollars, dude. Did you actually go out and swipe? Oh my god, we're at level two. Okay. Sweet. I have, like, I've never seen a hype train before on my stream. That's amazing. Great way to end the week and begin the weekend. Hell yeah. Drink your water. It's really hot out, so I'm drinking water. Okay, and then the other end game updates. The other end game updates is they um, made Dyna mobs harder. Apparently they were too easy. I'm not a DPS, so I have no idea. And then they allowed for the currency breakdown, which is good for people who want to sell the currency or exchange the currency. So that's good too. I feel like some of the stuff is like normal tweaks. Oh my gosh, there's like a single hair. Okay. I messed with my bangs and now like my bangs are all fucked up. The other fun stuff is the helm updates. These all look like... Excuse me, sorry, I had a burp. These all look like buffs. So it says to increase the value of harvesting in these zones, right? So to increase the value of excavating, increase the value of logging, um, increase the value of mining... Ayy, what's that? Did you give more bits? Why did you do that? How many bits do you have? 1,500? Okay. Uh, so it says hype. I have to read this. Can you guys see this? I'm assuming you guys can see this, right? Level 2 completed. Anime, you're going to get so many... So, oh my gosh. Oh my... You gifted a... You gifted a sub to my... You guys need to stop. Calm down, please. Level 3 emotes. Level 4 emotes. Jeez, Louise... Oh, wait, so I can do this. Hooray, you earned it. Thank you. Send thanks. I should just make my ult a perma sub. You have to keep going. I think the limit's five. I actually, uh, I think it's five. I talked to Rushlock about hype trains once. And I think the limit's five because he gives out skins and stuff. Dude, you guys wait. It shows a train icon for both Barry and anime. Do you guys, if you post, can you see a train icon? Like if I click your name. I can see all your badges. Anime, you have a lot of badges. Patrimo is great. That's because you're a ninja. May not everyone wants to be a ninja. Bad thing. <laughs> Tachi, it's perfect for you. Yes, okay. Oh, you have gift leader badge. Five is the highest, but you get to like... Wait, what? That's insane. What the fuck? You guys should just not do it. <laughs> Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Dude, now I can afford, um, what is it, like, <laughs> I can afford pizzas for all of us. What was that I was promising with the ad revenue? Oh, yeah, Helm, Helm meetings, Helm meetings, jeez Louise. Helm patches, and then they update, they upgrade chocobo digging, mining, clamming. I'm pretty sure clamming is not even active on the server. Your katana merits last night, hell yeah, dude. Everyone's got to be wanting to level ninja now. They have air plus skill chain magic burst camps, so it says containing crabs. Had their stats just to make them easier to level on. So they made all these new new camps and then people just didn't use them because they're like, this isn't worth it. Um, based on like <laughs> like normal camps, they were just like, oh, it's not worth farming. This one's really funny. Um, Ix Aaron, or I think, how did I say that? I don't know if I said that right. So this is a NM and C. I haven't gotten to C yet. And it's a Dark Knight and it revives itself. It says, will not revive itself more than 20 times per spawn. So you're fighting an NM 20 times, by the way. I know, it's great, but I feel like they should have lowered it to, like, 10 or something. Like, something reasonable. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I could be crazy. I don't know. 
I haven't gotten to C yet, though. C is in like sky. C. See the? Do you see the theme for all the names of the end game? All right. So here's more. Uh, what you call it? Paladin stuff. Last time you killed it raised 24 times. That's way too many. How long did it take to kill you? Or how long did you take to kill it in those 24 times? Like, was that like an hour fight, or was that like a three-hour fight, a 20-minute fight? We're gonna more ninja buffs too. 30 to 4. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, 30 to 45. That's not too bad. So in light, we'll drop from the following B, C, and M's. Uh, they have the official 15%. So here's Worm's turn. That's where we knew it dropped from. But then Royal Succession, Steam Sprouts, Factory Rejects. I have, I've not done any of those. I've done like one BCNM. But this is a, I would say like a buff to Paladin because more Paladins can get in light while leveling, but a nerf to making money. So people spent like millions, if not hundreds of thousands on in light. And now it's like, haha, no, like losers, you can get it easier now. Any urn is dangerous with wing thrust. You got one shot. Oh, okay. Jeez. Okay. So you at least have to be prepared when fighting it multiple times. Um, the Morbler Alert Vine has increased to 100%. Now has a chance to drop from BC and M. I think this is... So this Vine, Beard, Tongue, Egg. I want to say these are related to Black Belt, which is like the best in slot for a monk. Makes sense, right? Monks, Black Belts. Uh, so this is like a buff to, a, a buff to monks, because now they can actually get better gear easier. It's black belt? Okay, that's what I thought. Because I think, like, initially, like, it says 50%, which, you know, it's still kind of a gamble, but I thought it was, like, less than 10% before, or something sane. Oh, vine is for brown belt? Okay. So this is the one where, um, like, people were camping this notorious monster, and it, like, spawned once every 24 hours, and there were, like, 20 people camping it, barely could get the item sort of thing. Okay, I gotcha. So this is, these are good. This is a nice for monks. I think a lot of people just didn't level monks. So if your name is Samurai Jake out there, you got a buff, dude. Easy peasy. This, the all-in-one elemental wheel ninja tool synth. I think this just makes it easier for ninjas to get tools. Like, it's not an insane amount, so a buff to ninja. Probably, I would say, maybe, depending how you look at it, a nerf to crafting. Um, that depends how you feel about crafting. Hey, you hope this gets level five. Hype train must be sa satiated. Another thousand bits, dude. That's wild. We're only sixty-five percent. I don't know how much it takes. Oh, don't do any. Wait. It says hype train success. It got more. You received level three hype train emotes. Such strong support. Level. Oh, hype train complete. Level four is sixty-five percent. It gave me like ten more seconds on my screen. Oh look, I can say choo choo. It says applause. That's so cute. Oh, it's like a little dolphin. Oh, these are so cute. What the fuck? Did you guys get these? You guys had to have get They didn't just give them to me, right? There's no... I'm gonna be pissed if they only gave them to me. Yeah, look, you got the squirrel emotes. I love my squirrel emotes, dude. Okay, so if, I, if you type hype... Apparently, these are all the hype emotes. Maybe. Those are the ones that... They came in when I typed type. You got them too? Okay, bless. You should after donating. Donating? Giving me that many bits? You got the... Pl I love the Planky emote. The Planky emote is my favorite. I have a pin. I think it's in storage because of my move. But I have a pin of the Planky emote. I love it. I need to make a custom one because I feel bad not having a custom one. Okay, sorry. I keep getting... Make it rain. Literally, dude. No, wait, not literally, figuratively. Or literally, I guess, if you're using literally wrong. Okay, so sorry. Sorry, super distracted. Elemental Wheel Ninja Tool Synth. This is a buff to ninjas. Um, There's these pieces of gear. I have no idea. I don't think I've seen these. These are all, like, melee stuff, right? If you read the stats, dex, attack, accuracy, evasion, blah, blah, blah. I don't do anything with that. That's not my type of gear. So I don't know if this is a buff or a nerf, good or bad. Oh, it says buff. They say been buffed. So I'm assuming that means it actually is a buff. I haven't heard otherwise, I should say. There's also these shuriken synthesis rework. So the shurikens are what ninjas use for their throwing ability. So they buff those. Um, wait, or adjusted. So I think it makes it better or easier to make these. So that's super good. Hey, Darkrift. 
He's just 10 bits. Did you get those from like watching ads? Do you know you used to be able to watch ads and get bits that you could give to a streamer? Did you guys know that? Is why you're skilling up your throwing from level two? Nice, dude. Okay, that's good. And then they added another shuriken recipe. Recipes. Okay, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of these. So, ninjas, huge buff. Apparently not enough people played ninja, even though they said ninja was in a good spot, so they gave it a buff. There was a lot of talk, a lot... Of, I should not be highlighting, sorry. I'll stop. Well, someone's probably on their phone. They're, like, trying to read it, and I'm just, like, zooming all around. But I don't know if you guys remember from the Mog House meeting, they were like, oh, ninja's fine. It just doesn't feel good to play. And now they're actually making changes, thank God, like... Ninja, Ninja desperately needs those changes. I say this as a Ninja person on retail. I don't play Ninja now. I won't play Ninja on Horizon. I like my White Mage. Sonic Belt. So Sonic Belt, I think there was a lot of talk there. So they actually have Sonic Belt has been added. Requirements are as follow. This is really good. It says it takes a speed belt. I think I've seen a speed belt. We got um, King Arthro the other day. Arthro, is that right? I think that's right. Okay. EXP scrolls. I have one of those. I think they actually said there's a known bug saying it's not fully implemented yet, so just to wait. Now here's my favorite, this egg hunting extravaganza. Do you guys remember me talking about that last week, right? Like I'm like, oh, there's an Easter egg, so much fun. People have been trying to figure out these secret custom egg word combinations and have had zero luck. Absolutely no luck. They tried over 350 different combinations to figure out what it could possibly be. It turns out there was a bug and nobody told the players. So the players are just now, a week later, after selling all their eggs, are just now realizing like, oh hey, maybe we can get something. And I'm gonna spoil it for y'all. The secret combination, the words are bunny hop, one word, egg hunt, one word. They've tried up to 397 based on this spreadsheet. They went back through and retried 350 combinations. So it's just like, huh weird maybe we shouldn't like fuck around with that and you should just communicate with people i don't know why i feel so bad for these people like there was instantly a thread on the discord and people communicating and a spreadsheet and people organizing it and they got completely fucked on this and now now finally they're able to actually figure it out because now the devs tell them a week later that it works so i'm gonna copy and paste these words here i'll copy and paste them too on if you're watching this vod like, yeah, bunny hop, egg hunt. They apparently give you the hatchling shield and the rabbit belt. Hatchling shield dispenses eggs, <laughs> funnily enough. And the rabbit belt gives you a costume. So good luck out there. Huge props to the people uh, putting in all of this effort and then getting completely shafted on it. I feel really bad, but at least now you know your efforts were not in vain because you were supposed to have stuff. So, like, shame on the devs for not telling people sooner that this was a bug. That would have taken, like, 30 fucking seconds, but apparently not. So, poor, poor those players. I was going to give them a shout-out this week, too, because they went through all that effort to try and get it done. Now, here are the bug fixes. So, a lot of this is bug fixes. Um, I don't think... I think a lot of these were desperately needed. Somehow, they had to wait till patch 1.1 to release it, or maybe it was just in the normal cycle. I don't know. But now they're actually like coming through and fixing some fixing some things. So I'm trying to remember I'm, if there was anything like super critical, like Lusheng's fishing rod synth to error accurate. Like some of this stuff was like desperately needed, like known bugs sort of thing. So oh, so here are the NMs like getting fixed. Um, or will all versions will always be in the correct state when starting the BCNM? Like I, I had to fight that for Chains of Promethea mission, correct animation, yeah. So it seems like a lot of these, a lot of these probably just got conveniently fixed here, which is good. Parry fix is nice. Yeah, that's good. Some of this stuff was probably just like trying, like just, hey guys, why is it not working? Let's test it and try it sort of thing. Um, magic resist calculation. So it seems like I've seen that a lot. I feel like they keep coming back and forth with that. There was another one. Let me see if I can find it. Beastmaster mobs within Dynamis to be charmed. <laughs> pets spine. Is, okay, so apparently you could charm pets in Dynamis. I didn't know that. Or Dynamis. There was something with the auction house. Oh, right here. This is a big one. Dynamis drop rates have been adjusted to closer reflect error, which means this is a nerf. Um, there was a lot of talk in in game link shows about how the drop rates were too high, so now they're nerfed and 
like more air it's more era accurate but it's a nerf it kind of sucks for her if you didn't farm all your um artifact too i was gonna say age too i was gonna say age because auction house listings will now sell to the low to the oldest listing of multiple listings are the same price uh that explains why every time i put crystals up they instantly sold but that's that's interesting that i mean that it wasn't fixed before like it, it must have taken forever i guess let me see listings and age so this is nice this is like a nice quality of life i guess all right job ability is not only being checked once for paralyzed instead of twice so some of this stuff is like really really good oh di time extension monsters and dynamics when i'll spawn correctly so some of this stuff is like i think a lot of these bug fixes so like if you looked at just bug fixes this is probably what could have been like just a normal friday patch some of this i wish was like called out sooner or fixed sooner but that i mean it is what it is there's nothing like we can really do about it i guess right there was a comment saying apparently h m's have been there was supposed to be a fix for them but it's not in yet so not sure when that will be implemented or not or if it's going to be implemented or what it is there's still talk of that i'm trying to think of like some of the other updates a lot of people are mad about beastmaster but i mean there's nothing you can really do right if you you as a player they finally fixed it adjusted it i don't know why it was allowed to go on for so long but it's good that they adjusted it there is also i should note you guys what's the fix for i yeah you you was hoping they did KS, ksn m99 pops um so i haven't seen i saw in the discord that there's supposed to be something and it didn't make the patch notes and they were supposedly going to go back and check to make sure it actually made it in to then update the patch notes. But I haven't seen anything here. I just tried to control up on this. I don't know why I did that. So we're going to join with 100 people. Yeah, exactly. I've done a couple H&M camps and it's like, I don't get anything from H&Ms. I just do it because it's fun to play with people. And like, if they're doing something, I'll join. But yeah, I'm not like... The whole idea of like, hey, every 24 hours, you might get a chance to get a pop if it spawns in one of the four or five zones. And not only in those four or five zones, but four or five spots in those four and five zones. And you need so many people online to be able not only to claim it, but then when you go to fight it, only 18 people can fight it. I, it just doesn't seem fun to me at all whatsoever. I don't know. That's that's my hot take. But like if they were to adjust it to like two hours where it's like sky gods or sky gods, sky notorious monsters, I'd be okay with that. Not sky gods. Sky gods are pop based, but yeah. So that's that's the patch. Um interesting. I'm really disappointed that the poor egg hunters got completely shafted. I'm excited about ninja buffs. I think that's been desperately needed just based on everyone's feedback. Again, I'm not a Uli is pop, yeah, Uli is pop, but it's a one percent pop like drop rate. So that's like a huge nerf for Uli. So it's gonna be, that's gonna be interesting. I am, I am excited that they actually adjusted the sky, the sky stuff, except for Uli. Like, <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> I hope you like that one percent drop rate XD. So unless, I mean, so it says aura statues. Maybe, mm, maybe if is it what like all aura statues in sky or all in general that would be nice because then because then it'd be easier to farm right like you could just get it while normal this seems interesting the new camps that's a very play and find out and spoiler i'm not going to play and find out i'm gonna wait till somebody else plays and finds out and tells me because i don't want to be like those egg people where i'm playing and finding out and finding out it's not fucking working that would suck white mage got a buff this is the best thing farming the circle yeah yeah exactly which isn't bad right like you could do it like that could be something um where you Hey, Krister, how are you? Not the actual room. Okay, yeah. If it was just the mobs in the room, Uli spawned, that would be really bad. That's like what? Like, isn't there only like six mobs there? Like, that's pretty bad. But yeah, it'd be fun if that was like part of the whole like, I don't know, era plus camp or merit camp where you can like roam around with like a group of six. Or maybe you have an alliance and like it spawns fast enough where you can like all kind of rotate with your party of six out of your group of 18. Like, that would be cool. I, then I could see if they if it was like that I could see why it would be one percent. Um, but yeah, a lot of this good quality of life stuff. I think so. I think especially like ninja, the ninja stuff, super nice. These buffs. I don't know what this gear is. Maybe maybe like nobody actually uses it. I have no freaking idea. And then Sonic Belt. I've heard a lot of people talking about that with the speed belt. What else? There was something else I was going to add. Oh, they're doing a stream. So I started slightly early today. I didn't set um, 
a go live normally on my discord I set like a time to go live and I didn't do that I kind of like started the last minute I gave myself 45 ish minutes for this we're at 35 right now and so in nine minutes the horizon stream is gonna go live and they're gonna discuss this patch I should say I am assuming they're discussing this patch I think if they were just just to discuss it exclusively they would have probably done it earlier in the day when they're actually deploying the patch and when everyone's like anxious and wanting to see what's happening and then they could do like kind of what I'm doing of like hey guys here's the patch notes here's what we're doing here's why that's what I'm kind of expecting I'm guessing it might be more than just that I'm hoping it might be more than just that but who knows we'll have to see helm crafting and more the one oh the one thing I have noticed I don't know if you guys remember I talked about um, during their live stream at the mock house meeting they said they would do a pathing update there's absolutely nothing here about a pathing update none whatsoever about like how the mobs you can like flee from a mob and it just turbo speeds after you and hits and kills you and all this stuff the only thing I know from the pathing update that they mentioned previously was they said oh gravity will be fixed as part of that gravity's already fixed as far as I'm aware Gravity, like the slow and the evasion or whatever, is, I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, gravity is working as intended. So I don't know if that's why maybe they just didn't include anything with the pathing, but there's nothing being said there. So that's kind of disappointing. There also hints a lot about summoner nerfs. Actually, wait, we didn't cover that. There was something with summoner. I think it was like Ramu got like a buff. Like there was something wrong with summoner and they managed to fix it. Maybe it's... Let me keep reading spells, magic resist items, BC items. No, no, no. Maybe I think they maybe did fix. It. I remember reading something about that, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think I'm probably wrong about that. Um, but I thought they were gonna do something to summoner. Summoner is really strong. It's really, really good right now. So if you aren't sure what job you want to level, level summoner. They're really good for in-game too. Exciting stuff. I have to go unlock summoner at some point. Um, I might level. Which got black ma black black mage next. Um, I was gonna say black master, like beast master, and black mage combined. But yeah, my level black mage. My black mage is almost level forty. Playing Final Fantasy one on NES back in the day, heck yeah, dude. But yeah, lots of fun stuff. I think some bards were also disappointed. They expected some buffs, but bards really strong too. I like my bards. They're good. But yeah, that's the update. Um, we got about five minutes. Do you guys have any comments on anything related? I don't know, like, I know I know some of you guys are here. I don't know if you guys had anything, like, changes you thought that were going to be in, changes you wish were in. Let me see if I have, I think I have a Horizon Discord save. Discord? Twitch channel. Oh my gosh, so they're not doing the thing that every other stream does where they say go live, going live soon, or starting soon? Oh my god, thank god. more white you wanted more white mage buffs dude i was i was just glad white mage wasn't nerfed that they're not like hey guys your holy sucks we're nerfing it or whatever because i've got over like a thousand damage on holy magic burst oh my god don't play sound don't play sound oh i don't want to accidentally play someone else's stream okay they are going live <laughs> white mage, i know white mage is really really good right now i highly recommend leveling white mage or summoner you need to heal more healing is so much fun i actually oh so i didn't tell you guys so i hit 75 white mage I have a light stuff now, I have a dark stuff now, I have a noble's tunic. So I'm like essentially, in my mind, I'm essentially at the same spot I was in retail. A lot of people are like, Rain, you could get so much more. I'm like, no, no, I can't. The, my white mage and a noble's tunic with a light stuff is all I need in my life. The only thing that would make me happier is a K club, which you can't get the K club. But what you can get is an O club, which acts like a K club. It's just rare exclusive or whatever. Okay, so these guys, okay, these guys are streaming now. We're gonna go raid them. Um, a lot of other streamers have been talking about raids being broken, so I'm linking the channel. So ma manually click on that link and go to the Horizon um, stream. We can go see what they have to say. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's something good. Hopefully we learn something new. I'll take notes. If there's something like super like ground shattering, I'll have it on my next stream. Speaking of next stream, I am not going to be here next week. I am going to be in New Orleans with Malkef. Bless his heart. He's going to be driving over from his home state and he's going to be bringing us energy drinks and whatnot. But we are going to party in New Orleans. So I will be out completely. So you'll have to wait for my glorious return on the 28th. 
which I may or may yeah, I'll be, actually I'll be here on the 28th. I have a wedding on the 29th, but I will definitely be here on the 28th. But thank you everybody for hanging out. Let's go watch the live stream. I appreciate your input and your thoughts. <gasps> Here's my cat. Bless, that's perfect. I didn't time that at all. Alrighty, take care. Bye Oda, bye team. Take care everyone. Tina, what are you doing? Can you hop down? Thank you. Alright, stop shooting.